Hi, it's Jeremy from Practical IT. Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to take a look at XCPMG, which is the open source version of Zen Server. Let's get started. Okay, so I have connected to my Windows 10 machine and we are running XCPNG Center, which is the equivalent to the Citrix Zen Center. I've got my one server here that I'm not currently logged into. Let's see. Let's do exit, and we'll relaunch. All right. We'll connect to our server. Get rid of that window. And I haven't got this completely set up. I need, still need to set up the uh, share on my NAS box that has my ISO images on it so that I can uh, install the virtual machines on here. But uh, this server I've had for a while, I've used it for various um, projects and I decided to dust it off and get it going again uh, after seeing a few other videos on XCPNG. And I thought, you know, this would be a good use and, you know, keep it from just sitting around collecting dust. So got our different configurations on here uh, only using the one network card and for some reason it's only connected to 100 megabit well that's another topic to work through okay we've got our console here we click in there Uh, and we can do XS console. And now I can see exactly what's displayed on the screen for the server itself. So right now, um, I've got none of the VMs running. I've put the uh, XOA, the Zen Orchestra, or Zen Orchestrator VM on here with the curl script and it's not running at the moment. Currently storage repositories 1.3 terabytes. Okay so removable storage local so we've got that set up. It allows you to attach repositories And we've got several options here, including what I'll be using is Windows SIFS ISO library. And we will say, this is going to be on the And we'll see if that will connect. F8 for OK. Attention storage repository. Successful. And we'll jump back over here. See about adding a new virtual machine. So I'll do new VM. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's say Windows 7 64 bit. Uh, 
and we'll look down here we've got ultimate sp1 and give it one virtual cpu four gigs of ram Twenty-four gig virtual hard drive. And we'll say create now. And it's creating disks, starting the VM. Go to console and see what it's doing. And we're actually installing Windows 7. Alright, so we've got the Windows 7 going. Let's let's create another one while we're at it. Um, this is going to be an Ubuntu 16.04. And we're actually going to do 14.04. I don't have 16.04 on here. We'll remedy that at a future point in time. And give it two gigs of RAM, eight gig drive, network, create now. Provisioning, and we'll get this up here in just a moment or two. In the meanwhile, we can go back to our Windows 7 VM, see the console, and that's doing its install. Go to the console for Ubuntu, and that's Still booting up. So now that we've got two VMs running, let's take a look at the server itself. Uh, we can look at performance. And we're using not quite half the memory. And we've got a couple of CPUs in use and everything looks pretty good at the moment so wanted to keep this video fairly short i'm not going to show the whole install you've seen the installs i've done on virtualbox and once we've got past the initial setup phase the install is going to go just the same as it would in virtualbox or on real hardware so We'll come back at another point and we'll explore more in uh, XCPNG and uh, see about getting some interesting project VMs up and moving. Until next time, this is Jeremy for Practical IT. If you like this video, please click the plus icon, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Uh, please share with your friends and feel free to leave comments down below. 
Until next time, this is Jeremy for Practical IT signing off. Have a great day.